Hey scholars, it's good to be back with you. Now I keep telling you that statics is one of the most useful classes ever, and I want to give you another example. One of the things you need to know occasionally is where the center of gravity of a, some component is, some object is. That is, you want to know what its balance point is. Now if it's geometrically simple, you can actually calculate it. That's one of the things you learn to do in statics class. But what if it's not geometrically simple and you actually have one? Then what do you do? Well, what you can do is you can suspend it. You can hang it from a, a point and you can figure out the center of gravity that way. So here's how it works. All right, I'm going to take some object and I'm going to draw it as a rectangle just to make it easy to draw. And I don't know where the center of gravity is. Now maybe this is a box and it's got some stuff in it. It's not packed uniformly anymore. Maybe there's something really heavy over in one corner and you don't know because you don't know what's inside the box. So if I hang this thing by a string from some point, I know that if I extend the line of that string down, that has to go through the center of gravity. It must. But what, what would happen if it didn't? Let's try something here. Let's try some randomly shaped object and let's say the center of gravity is right there okay so the weight pulls down right there and let's try I decide I try to suspend it let me try to suspend it over here okay that means the tension in that string is right there well since W and T don't line up with each other there's some distance here That distance creates a moment. Well, strings can't apply a moment to a structure. So what will happen is when you let go, this thing will rotate around until this really is lined up with the tension of the string. It goes right along the line of the string. So we know the center of gravity has to be right in line with the point you're vertically from the point where you're hanging it. So what I could do is draw a line right there and I can maybe literally draw a line on the, on the uh, box. And let's say, let's try something else here. Let's take that same box. Oh boy, this is, this is tough. And let me see if I can sketch that, line, that dotted line back on it. And let's say I could hang it right there and it hung vertically. So just take that line right there where those two lines cross, that's the center of gravity. And no matter how you suspend it, the center of gravity has to be right below the, uh, the, the point where you suspend it, as long as that's a pivot there. You can't be making any moment there. So just hang it from a couple different places, draw, draw the lines vertically from those places and where those lines cross, that's the center of gravity. Let's try it. I grabbed this off my bookshelf a little while ago. This is a, a, a uh, three ring binder that has now fewer notes in it than it used to. Um, let's try this. I'm gonna, now the, the reason I'm, it's rectangular. It looks, you, know, you think, well, the center of gravity must be in the middle. It's not. There's a metal uh, binder back here, and there's a bunch of paper and stuff in it that, so the center of gravity is not in the center of this. Let's see if we can figure out where it is. So I'm gonna do a little light vandalism here. So there it is, I'm hanging it from my thumb. Let's see if I can make this vertical here. There, that's, that's pretty much vertical, isn't it? Let me try a different place. And I'll just go vertical from there. Right there, there's the center of gravity. So it makes sense that it would be centered here and centered here if it was uniform, but it's not centered in either place. That's the center of gravity. Let's try one more. I have a, I have a guitar over here I want to use. Okay, those of you who watch my videos have probably seen this guitar before. This is just one I keep in my office because you know, why not? Um, now this really is symmetric side to side, so I would expect the center of gravity to be right on the center line of the instrument, but I don't know where on the center line. Well, one way to do it is to keep moving your finger around until you can get it to hang horizontal and it's right there. So it's right at about the, let's see, third, uh, 14, 15, 16, 17, 
about the 17th or 18th fret there. That looks about right. Let's try something else here. Let's hang it from a different place. Oh boy, right? Huh, okay, let's do this. If I were to draw a line vertically there, yeah, it goes right through there. So if I hang it there and it hangs horizontal, almost, same thing, it goes right through that point. So if you have an object and you have the ability to suspend it from a string or from a point, and you can do that in a couple of different places, you absolutely can find the center of gravity by just measuring it. Hope this helps. We'll talk to you next time. Thank <laughs> you.